Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl Tanzania Simone and I am back with another video. Today's video, I will be showing you guys how to do a fill-in. I'm going to be doing a fill-in on my client. She currently has extra long nails. So I'm going to show you guys all of the steps of me doing a fill-in for my client. I'm doing nails my way. Um, this is There's no right or wrong way to really do nails and what steps I take. Whatever I do is what I do. Uh, so there's no need to comment in down below and telling me what I missed or whatever. This is what I like to do. So let's just get into the video, okay? What I'm going to start doing is taking off her gel polish. We're going to go around her cuticle area slow. Um, you're going to remove any of the pieces that may be lifting from the set that she just had on, okay? So after I'm done fouling everything, I'm going to take off a little polish and then I am going to start reshaping her nails. I feel like when you reshape the nails before you add the acrylic, it just, it, it makes everything better and more crisp. Okay. And then you don't have to do so, spend so much time fouling in the end. Okay. Make your job less harder by just doing a nail. Okay. So after I'm done shaping her nails, I'm going to get my sanding band and I'm going to etch her natural nail. Okay. Um, I'm going to do that until it's like all ashy and everything, removing all of the oils. And then I'm going to brush her nails. Okay, so when you're using the sanding band, if you know what you're doing and you want to cut time, you do not have to push your your client's cuticle back. Um, you can actually push it back with the sanding band. Um, I'll show a more in detailed video soon but what you're really going to do is just take the sanding band and push it as close to her cuticle as you can where you're basically taking off the dead skin or the 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 excuse me the cuticle that you'll be clipping off if you was to push back the cuticles and clip it you can still do it however you want i mean it depends on the client for me because sometimes people's skin like, you know, their cuticles be bad where they really do need it clipped. And some people's cuticles is fine where you could just push it back with the drill and you'll be fine. But that's besides the point. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm not going to um, actually clip her cuticles because to me, they're not that bad. So um, I'm just going to buff everything out and start prepping the nails for the application of the acrylic. Okay, you guys, so we're about to start laying the acrylic. Um, honestly, I really don't know what color acrylic I'm using because I do mix my acrylics a lot, and I did make this color. Uh, but most of the time, I use Mia Secret acrylics and chisel acrylics as well. Um, but yeah, so the main acrylics that I do use from Mia Secret will be listed on my Amazon storefront. So if you guys want to look at the things that I have on my Amazon storefront for my nails, make sure that you guys click the link down below because everything will be linked down below in the description. Make sure that you guys follow me on Instagram at nail by Simone underscore. And make sure that you guys follow my personal page at Tanzania. Okay, everything will be linked down below. So what I'm going to do here is I'm adding... Um, no lift primer to her nails. I also have that in my Amazon storefront. Um, a bottle of this costs about like $15. And it's last me months. Okay. I haven't bought this since. Uh, I don't know. It's been a couple months though. So I feel like this is the best um, primer ever. Like I have no lifting with this. Um, now this is acidic. So you don't want to put it on your client's natural nail. I mean, I'm sorry, on their skin because it will actually burn their skin, like really burn their skin. So you just want to be careful when you're using it, but it's a really good product. Um, and I do have a link in my storefront if you guys want to purchase it. So that's all I'm really doing. Um, when I'm making a bead towards the cuticle area, you don't want to make it too watery because then it will flood the cuticle line and then that will cause lifting. Okay. So when you're taking your bead, you want to take it, make sure that you know your monomer to um, monomer to polymer ratio. And I usually dab it to uh, dry up the bead a little bit so it's easier to push around and then move it in the direction I need it to be moved to. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be doing in this clip right here. Just applying the acrylic and then I will show you guys the next step.
Okay, you guys, so here I'm just going to show you guys how I shape and foul. Um, I forgot to add the clip of me um, buffing the nails with the sanding man. I feel like me using the sanding man, it levels out the acrylic of the nail. And then this bit that I'm using now is also linked in my Amazon storefront. Um, this is a shaving one. So you this is going to take off all of the scratches on the nail after you're done using your sanding man. It's going to make your nails smooth, okay? So um, I just go in an up and down motion and go around. And this is also what you will use to clean up your cuticle area. So you want to make sure that you're careful around the cuticle area. Go slow and firm. And then it will make the nail very clean. No lifting. This will prevent lifting, okay? So make sure that you guys um, order this because this is a safety drill bit. Um, this will, it will cut your client, but compared to the metal ones that will really like slice your client's hand open, this is more a safety because if you run it over your client's hand, it won't just cut their hand open. Okay. So after you're done doing that, make sure that you have your client wash their hands and then I'm going to have her come back and now I'm going to start doing a French tip. Okay. Um, I use black because we're going to do a silver chrome and I feel like black would help the silver pop up better. So that's what I did. After you're done doing the your French, then that's when you're going to add the chrome up there. Now, when I did the French, I didn't use any base coat on the actual nail. Because if you use the base coat on the actual nail, um, the chrome will get all over the nail, okay? You want to make sure that your nail is dry. And the only sticky part should be the French tip part, okay? And then that's what you're going to add your chrome on. And then you're going to dust the nail off and add your polish, Okay. Um, oh, I used Mia Secrets um, gel polish. Oh my gosh, I freaking love it. Like, I don't know why, but I think that's like my favorite and I think I'm going to continue on buying it. And I'm about to add it into my storefront so that you guys can have it as well. Um, I think it's about $12, but I feel like it's really worth it. Like, it looks shiny. It dries good. There's no sticky layer, no nothing like top, top notch. So I'm going to continue on buying that. Um, until I find something that's even better than that. But right now, the Mia Secret top coat is legit. Okay, so after I'm done doing this, um, I got this chrome from Amazon as well. I will add this on my cart um, as well. This pack only came with silver and gold. Um, and I've really been loving it. Like, it looks so pretty. So, once I'm done doing this, I will add the top coat, like I just said. Add a little bit of cuticle oil. And then we're going to show you guys the finished look. Okay, this is the finished look for my client's nails. This is the chrome French tip. Um, she has like ballerina shaped nails and we did a deep French. So I'm just showing her how to move her hands. She's really just doing whatever she wants to do. But they look good. So make sure that you guys follow me on Instagram at Nail by Simone. Okay, and follow my personal page at Tanzania. And if you guys like these nails or you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or DM me on Instagram at Nail by Simone. Thank you guys for watching and I hope that you guys have a good day.